Welcome to Daytime Ottawa here on Rogers TV. Oh my goodness, what a show we have ahead for you. This is probably uh, one of my favorite times of year here in the city of Ottawa because there's so many events going on. People think, oh, you know, it's the end of uh, August and we're, we're, you know, the first uh, day of September and perhaps, you know, events are winding down. No, 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 they're still going strong. And our first guests have a great celebration. Hard to believe Brook Street Hotel celebrating their 20th anniversary and they have a roaring 20s gala. Uh, it's called Lumiere and they're inviting uh, the entire community. The nice thing about it, of course, like many of our events here in this city, it goes to a great cause. And I'm joined by uh, Roger McKinnon, sales and events director at Brook Street. Welcome, Roger. Great to have you here. Thanks, Darren. It's We're great to very, see you. And, uh, to today. and uh, Cliff Linus, who is uh, an old friend of the show. I shouldn't use the word old. Uh, culinary <laughs> director over there at Brook Street. Yes. But I'm aging just like the rest of you. So don't, don't worry about that. Great yeah, to have you back, Cliff. Great, great, am, great to yeah. see you. Um, Roger, let's talk, you know, uh, 20 years at, um, at Brook Street. You must, have, you must have so many great stories, so many highlights over those 20 years. Yes, we had lots, lots of great stories and, and, and lots we can't discuss here today <laughs> on the show for sure. But, Understood. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, been, it's been quite a 20 years for sure, and it's flown by, let me tell you. Yeah, what makes Brook Street unique? How would you describe the experience when people come to stay at, at, at Brook Street or even come to dine or, or go to the, uh, the, you know, the, the fabulous spa that you have there as well? Well, I think what makes Brook Street <laughs> unique uh, is, is that we're, it's kind of like a resort experience within a city kind of thing. Right. And, and we like to think we're the only game in town that really can provide that type thing. So. And that's what our guests tell us, you know, whether they're local staycation kind of kind of guests that we have, or coming from all areas of North America, they they uh, really appreciate our resort feel. Yeah. Guess, within it within a city. Yeah, it's a great way to describe it. And uh, Cliff, I was talking to you earlier. You've been there 17 out of those 20 years. Is that 17 right? 17 years. Yeah. 17 How did you? Years. So yeah, tell me about you know your beginnings there. How did you come to to be oh, at? I started at there uh, executive sous chef with Mike Blackie for. Two years, I think. Okay. With Mike, I think a okay. year and a half with Mike, before he went off to the NAC, and I took over for him. So nice. Yeah. And then I've uh, been there ever since. So it's like 15 years now as executive chef, or 15 years executive chef now. Uh, culinary, culinary director. director. Yeah. Very nice. So, mm -hmm. What are you really preparing nice. for us here today? I, uh, I can we're smell the one oil. Of the dishes. Yeah, we're okay. going to do one of the dishes that we're doing for uh, for Lumiere. We're doing 11 dishes for Lumiere. Nice. Um, 11 different cooking stations. So we're doing bison for this course. Okay. So this one will be a sous vide. We did a sous vide bison tenderloin. So we're going to unwrap here and we're going to start searing this off. Nice thing about sous vide is it's very, uh, it's very forgiving, right? Is it? Yeah, that's well, true. It takes, yeah, a, it takes so. a lot of human error for that one, right? Because it's, uh, you know, we you should be doing that at home it. more than well, I, I have one at home. I have one at home. Very means, nice. Uh, yeah, it takes, like takes it. a lot of the pressure off my day. Uh, um, Roger, I, I said off the top, you know, the nice thing about events here in Ottawa is that they go to a great cause, and uh, that's the same with Lumiere. Who, who have you partnered up with? Yeah, yeah, we're happy to say that um, all the benefits of, of uh, Lumiere go to support the Queensway Carleton Hospital. Which you know we're we're really proud to work with them and, and support and partner with them because you know they're they're such a a crucial part of our community in, in providing our loved ones with state of the art care you know yeah. that, that we all deserve and uh, you know I, I know with working with them they're continually investing in, in state of the art equipment uh, world class stuff to you know reduce wait times and things like that and, and we're happy to support that with with this, this great event that uh, we're throwing here next week, actually, it's, it's here. Yeah, it's coming up. It's yeah. coming up quickly. That's coming up on September the 7th. We're looking at um, some of the the previous visuals here. For um, Let's talk more food. You said 11 stations. So, Cliff, how would you describe the entire food and beverage, beverage experience at Lumiere? Oh, uh, well, we're going to small plate as we can with it. We're trying to hit every every kind of genre we have. We're, okay. We're, the nice thing is we went through and we went to the uh, uh, New York Museum and they have a lot of, uh, not the museum, the uh, library, they have a lot of older menus from the 20s. Oh, okay. So we've gone through and, and picked out items that were on menus in the 1920s nice. and uh, gone through and tried to modernize them. Oh, right? I love it. That's so, a great idea. So things like we have a deviled egg going on there, but we put a new spin on it kind okay. of thing and we have... Uh, you know, we have oysters going, we have uh, bouillabaisse going, 
Uh, you'd see the older, the Duchesse, which was a style of potato kind yeah. of back then, so we're working with that, but trying to make it a little bit more modern. Nice. So, yeah. Uh, Roger, so what does your ticket include? I know you still have a few tickets uh, left and, we do, and available. Yeah. Um, yeah, tell they, us about what your ticket includes. We do have a few tickets left. They're available on the website. Okay. Uh, as well as our silent auction is still is open to the public. So it's live now, right? Yes, is that yes. right? Our, okay. Sorry, our silent auction is live now on our website. Yeah. And then mm -hmm. the night of, we'll have a live auction with some pretty incredible prizes. But included in, in the uh, ticket price is, of course, the wonderful culinary delights that, that <laughs> Cliff will, will uh, take us through. But we have lots of cool uh, Roaring Twenties activations. We've got some vintage cars. Everybody will be dressed up. There's live music of the era. Uh, whiskey tasting, nice. uh, that kind of thing. And, and as I mentioned, our, our live auction has some pretty awesome prizes, uh, including uh, a getaway to our, our sister property uh, called the Celtic Manor in Wales. Oh yeah, that's so right. That's pretty cool. Uh, pretty cool is one of our marquee prizes. And we, we also, one that we just added recently is uh, uh, a live auction item where you can choose any professional sporting event all expenses paid anywhere okay. in North America. So wow. we're very happy to have added that oh kind of late in the game. So super excited. It, it's it's the place to be next Thursday, that's yeah, for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And uh, Cliff, you're just uh, taking things off here. So that's, you said bison? Yeah, bison. Very nice. Like, so yeah. So this is uh, local. Well, as local as it can be. Yeah, of uh, course. It's, it's within course. Ontario, right? It's not a product that we bring in frequently, so okay. it is it is a little pricey because of the uh, you know the size of the animal. Yeah. It's quite the responsibility <laughs> to get, get through it. Right? No kidding. So, no and that's kidding. what we want to keep in mind when we build things like this. Um, going into into fall with the regular menu, Cliff, do you guys do you make changes? Do you do sort of a seasonal menu? Keep some favorites? What does the menu usually look like from season to season? Uh, we'll change. We keep a couple of our selected favorites that right. have been uh, requested by the powers that be at Brook Street and then we have, uh, <laughs> yeah, we have um, then we change the rest of it so we change about 75 percent of the menu kind of thing going into it we do that seasonally but we have quite a few menus on the go right now since we've taken over the Marshes Golf Course too now right so we have that oh you kind did of I didn't realize that okay yeah so we have Very the Marshes nice. now we have uh, Perspectives and options running. So very nice. We have a couple of different ones. And Roger, it, it was uh, you know obviously a very difficult few years for the, for the industry. Have you seen things pick up? What what, what have things looked like uh, throughout the summer for you so far? Yeah, no, absolutely. It's it's been a great summer, and and it it, it has turned our industry upside down really in it, yeah. in every respect. But you know there are positives uh, and that kind of thing where you know we are we are able to re-engage most of our markets at the moment, Excellent. including you know leisure markets, which is important to us during the summertime, as you mentioned. But yeah, it's uh, it seems to be back uh, pretty much in, in full force nice. now. Uh, so we're we're happy to be back and doing what we love doing. Uh, hospitality wise so it's and it's uh, exciting out there too right we've got a new owner the Ottawa Senators that mm. are coming in right a lot of the players that come the visiting teams that come stay at Brook Street uh, I don't see where else they'd, they'd want to stay because um, it's nice and close and it's you know one of the nicest right. hotels in in the entire country so you guys have been doing a, a great job and uh, certainly encourage people as well right before and after the game it's a, it's a great spot to go and enjoy uh, I'll just remind everyone at home gentlemen thanks so much for joining us again tickets available on the website brookstreethotel.com forward slash Lumiere that's happening September 7th 6 to 9 p.m. We'll be right back after this.